What's up guys, Veritech here. Today I want to talk to you about exporting out of Adobe Premiere Pro and we have the Creative Cloud 2014 version. Mm -hmm. And we're going to discuss using the OpenCL Mercury playback engine to leverage the graphics card for faster exporting. So let's take uh, three clips here. I just have H.264s coming straight off of a Canon 60D um, and you know just a shot of traffic, the waves, and a seagull. Just random. Uh, and we'll drop them in a sequence and we will go ahead and export and this is just going to be the default way if you dropped anything into Premiere uh, we're going to take the clips and we'll just convert them to Apple ProRes uh, just for the sake of staying consistent between this and the next attempt at exporting and we'll go ahead and just say test slow replace and let's export so what you're going to see here is all the settings for exporting are default as you would come into Adobe Premiere. And we're going to see just how long it takes to export uh, a clip, a sequence that's about a minute and a half. Uh, again, nothing special on these. There's no color correction. There's no uh, visual effects or audio effects. We're just exporting clips that are coming straight off of a camera, running them through Premiere, creating a sequence that is now Apple ProRes 422 and we'll see just about how long this takes. <clears throat> uh, it should be, I'm guessing, probably somewhere around 40, 42 seconds, but let's see here. We're at 38 so far. And the key is that uh, you'll increase speeds when you're exporting with the trick I'm going to show you. And we're at 46 seconds. So here's where the, the fun trick comes in. 46 seconds on the first export, so let's do it again. No changes, we're still going to Apple ProRes 422. Cue it up in a media encoder. And here's the, here's the trick, the renderer. We want to switch it over to Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration OpenCL. Now, depending what graphics card you have in your system, it might not say OpenCL, it might say CUDA, uh, but that's just depending on what type of graphics card you have in your system. So we're going to click on that and let's see how fast it goes. And what the GPU acceleration is doing is your system is levering, leveraging the graphics card uh, to basically work with the system to increase your export speeds. So we had a 47 second export on this clip in the last time. Well look at this, we're at 20 seconds and we're almost halfway there. So we're moving along. And what you'll notice is that this is a pretty significant increase in speed on the export, but we don't even have effects. We don't even have a ton of clips. So once you really are boosting how much is in your timeline, you'll see a significant difference in how fast the exports are. And this is going to finish at 40 seconds. So six seconds faster on a minute and a half sequence with not much going on. So really, if you have a three to ten minute video, you know, a short film with color correction and everything, you could see increased speeds of two to three minutes on your export. So really, check out the GPU acceleration. It's going to give you a lot of help when you're exporting. And uh, thanks for listening. Check back. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll have a lot more videos coming. Thanks a lot, guys.